False alarm! They're friendlies. We've been dealing with raids. A lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can I? Yeah, of course. He likes when you cut his ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. You know, if you want, we can take them riding later. That'd be awesome. There. Hey, thanks, Tommy. No sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. No, you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, look, well, take it easy. Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including Joel. Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone, most of it. Here. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, I'll hold on to it for you. Tommy, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah, okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. I don't know what you heard, but you should see the town. We're over 20 families strong now. 
It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when the plants are. You still got to deal with infected, though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. Or maybe you don't have to be. <laughs> you sound like Marlene. Hey, buddy. That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. Oh, that's a good boy. Maybe good to have around. These two geniuses are going to bring this plant back to life. We think we got it this time. <laughs> you don't believe us? I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, we're almost ready. They just need to finish putting the shield back on. No rush. crew you got here. Yeah, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Gives us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. And nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither. But I can show you. All right. I'll bite. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver her to the Fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. <laughs> You finish the job, you collect the whole damn payment. I haven't seen a firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this.
You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you wanna play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? Yeah. Shit! Bandit! Stop him! Don't let him into the building! See anything? We got him. Let's get to the bridge. Bandit, they're breaking into the building. Can you get out of there? No, we're trapped. We're gonna come to you. Just stay. They're here. Ellie, hide. Hurry.
Sons of bitches. We gotta get to the girls. Right behind you. Okay? Yeah, 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 I'm fine. Joel! Oh, man. They were coming in from every direction, and then Maria was like, we gotta run, and so we dove over these tables, and this huge guy blasted with a shotgun. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Listen, hey, hey, are you hurt? No. God damn it. I need to talk to you. Absolutely not. You tell him to go find somebody else. Maria, I can't have this hanging over my head. Do you have any idea how many men we lost here today? Hey, what's that all about? Does that have anything to do with me? We'll talk about it later. Did he tell you where the lab is? No, we'll talk about it later. Later. Right. It takes one. One fuck up. One fuck up and then I turn into one of those widows, okay? I have to do this. I don't know what else to say. Maria. Here we go. You. If anything, anything at all happens to him, it's on you. She's thankful, you know. Yeah, I know. I'll take that girl of yours to the Fireflies. You don't have to worry about it. It's best this way. You know, maybe some real good will come of this. I need to talk to Ellie. 
Say again, I didn't hear you. Joe! What, what is it? That girl of yours. She took one of our horses and rode off. Damn it. Which way? Come on. 